Hey everybody, this is Laura Gardner here and this is my girl Della. She is not even two yet. She is 21 months and we're going to show you how to make some fun art prints with some basic stuff you have at home. Tin foil. So here's our tin foil. Yes, that's tin foil. And just some regular water-based markers and some paper and some water and a little spray bottle. So first we're going to let her draw on the tin foil however she wants. Do you want this color? Oh nice. Nice lines. Can mommy draw on here with you? You can draw all over it however you want. Good job. It's actually spreading pretty nicely instead of paper for her small little hands. Wanna get some more color on there? Do you wanna try a different color? Want the blue one? And it doesn't have to look like anything. We're just making marks, seeing what happens. This is kind of a fun experiment too. I know my kids at school love doing experiments. So you can experiment with what happens if you make loops on your paper. Oh, I don't even know if you can see that. What happens if I mix colors together? What happens if I make a pattern or lines on here? Tin foil can be really fun to draw on because it feels different than paper. It's really smooth and kind of fluid. Was it gone too? That's alright. Let me get more on there. Should I turn this for you? Get some over here. Want me to hold that one? Thanks. Do you want a do you want that back? Two hands. Nice job. Want some other colors? Oh, yeah. this, want this hot pink? I'm just gonna turn this to help her get it. I have her strapped into a high chair here so that she's been loving to climb up on furniture. Okay. So, no, we don't need to color our face. Do you see yourself up there? No. <laughs> yeah. You want to get some more on this part? And you don't even have to cover the whole tin foil up. No. All right. So we're done coloring. The next part that we're going to do is take our spray bottle and just spritz it all over anywhere that has color. And hopefully you can see this. So you can start to see the marker spread. Yeah, I know you want to touch it. Then we put our paper on. We put the paper on. Then press it down with me. We're gonna rub our hands on it. Ooh, you can even start to see some of it coming through the paper. Oh, hold on. Let's push it down even more. Make it really exciting when we pull it up. Now rub your hands. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. Good job. Thanks for helping. And then. When we open it up, <gasps> look at that. That is beautiful. Look what you made, Della. Yeah, look at all those colors together. Isn't it gorgeous? And look, the tin foil is cleaned off, so you can keep going again and again and again and just making more and more prints and experimenting with colors, <coughs> mixing together or pattern, see what happens when you draw lines on it and spray it, what happens when you leave some space empty. And what I like about these things, when they dry, and they dry pretty quick because it's just water and markers, but when they, stuff like this dries that she makes, even though she's not old enough to make like things that have 
pictures of things yet or words. I like to save this stuff and then cut it out and make cards later. So I'll like cut pieces off of here, glue it onto pieces of cardstock, and I'll put like a thank you stamp on it or a happy birthday stamp and I'll send them out as cards from her. So that's homemade from her later. That's how we did our Christmas cards. That's how we did your thank you cards from your birthday. We like to make our own cards, don't we? Can you give me a high five? You did a great job. High five. Good. Yes. All right. I hope you guys like that and I hope you that enjoy making your that. own. Can you say bye, Della? Bye.